you know what I mean? So, um, but from a technical analysis perspective, this is nice. This is very nice. That whole CPR zone right there, right there, very nice. Yeah, nice CPR zone there. Why is that a CPR zone? Because if you zoom back, if you go back, you can see that there was a level of resistance, 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 and you get a move up, yeah? And this is what I was saying the other day with regards to um, stop hunts as well, yeah? Stop hunts can last several pip, hundred pips, yeah? So you can see the move up, and then all of a sudden now it collapses. Anyone who got in at the breakout here or up here, the pullbacks, is caught in their positions. You can pretty much see. Relief. Um, let's go back a little bit and see if that was an actual significant level. Let's see. Oh, surprise, surprise. Look at that. Surprise, surprise. Can you guys see this? Draw the level from here. How many traders do you think, yeah, would have been getting short right there? How many traders do you think would have been getting short right there? Everyone, a lot, absolutely, because what should support, support, break should turn to what? Resistance. Nice little um, uh, double top type trade, you know, technical analysis set up. Market's been going higher and higher and higher. Everyone likes to pick the tops, yeah? This is obvious for everybody. Where's everyone placing their stop losses? Right above that obvious level of support and resistance. Pure trap, absolutely. That's exactly it. It's trapped them. Yeah? Not only is it trapped them, it's stop hunted them, and then the breakout traders who got in. Yeah. Right here. Breakout traders who got in. Yeah. Uh, Adam says, um, when I look at support and resistance, breakout and retest setups, they give me anxiety. <laughs> they give you anxiety. <laughs> well... <laughs> You know, like now, you know how to trade them, right? You know exactly where the obvious stop losses are. We can't trade how everyone else trades. Sorry, guys, I'm off. No worries, Golden Green. No worries at all. I'm, I'm wrapping up anyway. I'm wrapping up, yeah? I was doing some analysis on, on, on oil. Um, no worries. So this will be recorded, and uh, I'll speak to you later. Um, so there you go. So, so there it is. Stop hunt. Yeah, and it also draws in traders. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, they're caught in their positions, isn't it? They're caught in their positions. Boom. And then by the time we get back here, the supply and demand equation is at work. Is at work. Right in this zone right here. Yeah. But that CPR zone, absolute beauty. Remember when obvious, and look at that, that was a nice little stop hunt there as well, where you had the move there, prices would have bounced off of that, because traders would have been trading that zone, yeah, that level of support and resistance in real time, traders are getting short, because everyone can see the daily time frame chart, right, everybody can, everybody can see that, when you have something like this, this is really nice, everyone can see that. Yeah, as a nice pin bar on the daily on the daily time frame chart, wherever all the stop losses, all up here. But this is also a CPR zone. Yeah, loads of supply up here, and then you get but but, and then we are where we are. Also, as well, just a, just a little side note as well. Remember to trade the technical setups in the direction of the fundamentals. Try to ignore, if you can, 
ignore these setups that are counter to your fundamental bias. If you wanted to be a seller up here, if you wanted to be a shorter up here, then brilliant. Look for that type of setup. If you're looking to get long, then unfortunately, you're going to have to ignore that. Yeah, trade selection. Be selective with your with your trades, your trade ideas. And stick, try and stick to them. But that was that was very very nice right there. Nice supply zone, nice CPR zone. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. 